Hey everyone, welcome back to Carrots and Olives. My name is Brittany and today is a true unboxing. Just opened this, just got this today. All right, this is a bigger box than I expected. And this is the Celine or Celine Endless Pens Exclusive Limited Edition Celestial Fountain Pen by Kilk. And I think it's a collaboration with Taylor Fountain Pen um, Blanks. So I couldn't resist this pen because it looked so beautiful. Let's see, certificate of authenticity number 22, only out of 45. That is not that many. Your pen is warranted for two years due to any possible manufacturing defects. It's a resin body, Kilk V2 steel nib, 925 silver accents, and CC filling. Hmm. Okay, so we have an exclusive writing um, use and care, and we get a jewelry care cloth because of the stainless steel or the um, the sterling silver, and it has their brand on it. That's nice. And then we have the pen. Yeah. Oh wow, that's so pretty. That is super duper sparkly. Even the finial here is sparkly. The sterling silver here, and then the sterling silver clip, which is really stiff. And then the sterling silver up top. I wonder if I could, this, this clip looks really bulbous it looks really big so but i do like the top sterling silver and i like the little belly band here which is really pretty and you could it has some texture to it as well oh my gosh look at that in the light, I don't know if you could see it, but it's really pretty back here. It's just really impressive. So this is an extra fine steel nib. And it comes with a, cart a converter, which is a twist on converter. Oh, and it's numbered on the inside with endless pens, and it says 22 out of 45. That's a nice touch. Okay, so let's see how it writes. All my other Kilk pens have been fantastic writers, so I hope that this will be the exact same. Okay, so I'm going with Mysterium, which is an endless pen exclusive, and it's like a purpley ink. So I see some of the ink inside of here. Inside of the grip section, which I believe has to do with the feed being 
damage on the inside. So I may need to look into that and getting that replaced. Um, at least that's what I've been told is the reason for why you'll see ink leak in the grip section. However, it doesn't affect the writing. So let me get something to write with. writes really well for extra fine. Um, Celine. Limited edition celestial fountain pen. I like it. Reverse writing. Yeah, you can get a few letters. All right, that's all I wanted to share with you today. Got to do some more writing with it and give my thoughts at a later time. So before I end the video, I did want to jump on and just share the other Kelk fountain pens that I own and just to do some um, comparisons. So my very first Kelk fountain pen was this one. And this is the camera Laterna, and it's an ode to film. So we get the film clip here, and then the take one, two, three. Um, this is all sterling silver accents, and then also here um, around the clip or around the barrel is also like the ticks in the film. And then you have the spinny finial, which is really, really cool. So this one is more squared off. It does post and I get, I did get this one in an extra fine and it does post, although it does become a little back weighted. I think this is, would be good for someone who has bigger hands. I don't, or wouldn't normally post it. And then that brings us to my second Kilk, which is the Celestial, and it's this per uh, really pretty purple. The regular clip, um, I think, are all the same, unless it's like a special uh, pen, then, um, then it changes. But this seems to be the typical clip look. And then, we have um, the stainless steel, which has had some patina on it. So it's a little bit copper looking. And I got this one in a fine. And then my most current, the Celine or Celine. 
and this one is in the extra fine of course and it is has a very similar body to the celestial but i noticed that it's actually a little bit taller <clears throat> And also you may notice that the design of the barrel or on the barrel of the stainless steel accent is bigger. And then we, I've also noticed that the ends of the um, grip section kind of flare out and that is not the same with the camera Laterna. So I guess to kind of, I don't know, I, I maybe I need to look into some of the other Kilk pens. I've had my eye on the Kilk Novo Baroque fountain pen. Um, I kind of like that two-tone tortoise shell one, so I think that could possibly be um, a future purchase, but um, it seems like they have subtle differences between each pen. Uh, I do like the size and the feel of all of them. Um, this one in the middle has been my go-to because it's just, it's really smooth and um, it's really comfortable. I want to say that the grip section here is a little bit bigger than both all th uh, the other two. It's kind of hard to tell, but I want to say the sparkles kind of throw off how wide this is. And I don't have a tool to measure very well or accurately, but I do want to say that this one looks a little bit thicker in the width of the um of where you put your fingers, <laughs> the grip. So, um, and I do like this with a little bit more than this one, just because it just keeps me from squeezing so tight with my fingers when I'm writing. And then of course the camera Laterna doesn't have that little flare out. So if the flare out bothers you when writing, maybe this pen would be better. And oh, the engravings are slightly different on the pens as well. So I don't know why it's a little bit different. Um, I really prefer this engraving over the other two, but yeah, I'm not quite sure. Um, maybe I just have more special editions, unique Kilk pens. Uh, but I think by buying another one, another standard that it would be um, give me a better idea of where it kind of lies with some of their, you know, some of the features of the pen. So we'll see how that goes, but I did just want to share that with you. And again, the, uh, the clips, this seems to be the standard clip design. And then this one was a special edition. So obviously it would be different. And this is what, oh, even the finials are different. So this is the newest and then this is the celestial. And then this one. So I don't know, <laughs> we'll see. I'm not sure, I guess they, maybe they just make, they add different things to each pen. So each pen is just unique in its own way. But thank you for watching, and um, if you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. I will catch you in the next video. Bye!